fifth year in Colorado Springs for the annual Space Symposium. New trends and cutting edge breakthroughs in aerospace of all kinds are up for discussion, and 9 News reporter Vita Urbonis is there live for us this morning. Good morning, Greg. Yeah, a lot of Colorado ties here. Right now, we are in the Aerojet booth. Now, this company is based out of Washington. However, if you are in the space industry, you know that a lot of these companies really, really rely on each other. They really, really integrate together. For example, Aerojet, the company that we're at right now, they are building propulsion units for the Dream Chaser. The Dream Chaser, you might remember, is being built out of Louisville, Louisville, Colorado. It's a built by Sierra Nevada. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to be a commercial space vehicle that is going to essentially be a crew transfer to the International Space Station. And speaking of the International Space Station, you like that transition there? We're going to talk to a man who's been on the International Space Station. I'm going to head over here to Dr. Leroy Chow. Thanks for joining us. What was it like being on the International Space Station? I'm sure you hear that, hear that a lot. <laughs> right. Well, I spent six and a half months on the International Space National Space Station serving as the commander and NASA science officer a few years ago. And being in space is really a, a, a magical experience. It's kind of weird to be floating at first, but once you get used to it, it's very free feeling. And what was the most exciting part? I mean, for what's the moment that you will remember forever? Well, I think the moment that I'll remember forever over my four flights in space is uh, one time I was helping to build the space station. I was doing a spacewalk and I uh, had my boots on the end of the robotic arm and I was being moved from one work site to another. Oh. And uh, for a few moments, all I had was a face full of the Earth. I couldn't see the space shuttle or the space station, and I felt like a satellite flying uh, over the Earth watching the continents roll by. Pretty scary. We're running out of time, but real quick, the future of, of space. Like we're talking about this commercial vehicle. Right. Where do you see it headed? Well, we're very excited. I think everyone's excited about the commercial side that's really uh, developing quite well. And uh, what we're going to see is that I think the commercial industry take over the, the shuttling, if you will, of, of astronauts from the surface of the Earth to the International Space Station and back. Okay, Dr. Chow, thank you so much. Now, coming up in one hour, I'm going to have you follow me over here. We're going to introduce you to Sprocket. This is Lockheed Martin's robot, Quiet. Please recharging. Apparently, she's going to toss, talk to us. So uh, get ready to talk to Sprocket coming up in one hour. Back to you. She's got some nice eyelashes on her. <laughs> All right, Vita, thanks so much. It's 7.51. We're going to take a quick break and be right back. Stay with us from all over the world are in Colorado Springs this morning for the 29th Annual Space Symposium. New trends, cutting-edge breakthroughs in aerospace of all kinds are being talked about. and That includes some talking robots as well. 9 News reporter Vita Urbonis is hanging out live with that talking robot. Hey, Vita. Yeah, we're... Hi, we're...